Yo, I ain't here for the money, I ain't here for the fame Though it might be nice to own a jet plane, I'ma do it all for you Welcome back, trainers, battlers, and girls at PvP We have some amazing news coming to Pokemon Go We have Landorus coming in to the 5 star raids And on top of that, it's gonna be one of the most useful of the current trio out but even better than that, it might be the first Pokemon that you ever get to remote raid in Pokemon Go. That's right trainers, you heard me correctly. This might be the first Pokemon you get to sit at home on your couch and raid with friends. If you've never heard of me before, I'm Pogo Joel. I come up with event guides, tips and trick videos, and some PvP content. Now without further ado, please drop a like, subscribe if you find this helpful, and let's get right into the video. Alrighty, so if we go over to Niantic's uh, Twitter, they did tweet out Monday morning that they have some updates coming in response to the coronavirus. A lot of their games are designed to get you outdoors into the real world. Um, so I'll leave a link here to uh, this blog, but what I really want to highlight for you is under social. We're enhancing our in-game virtual social features to enable players to stay in touch when they can't meet in real life. You'll soon be able to team up with friends and take on raid battles in Pokemon Go from the comfort of your home. Yes, remote battles are already happening. Remote raids are the next thing that we're getting, guys. And if you play Pokemon Sword and Shield, you have um, that experience already. You can team up with people and friends and raid in that game. So now, Niantic taking a step here in the right direction for our safety and for the longevity of their game. So let's get right into it because the first legendary Pokemon you'll be able to do this with will be Landorus. Now we don't have a date on when we can do remote raids just yet, um, but it's going to come soon. There is an update in the game. Once it gets forced, I'm sure everyone will be able to do that raid. And let's get right into Landorus. The forces of lightning and wind call Landorus to Pokemon Go. From Tuesday, March 31st till Tuesday, April 21st, Landorus will be in 5 star raids and will be in Go Battle League encounters for ranks 4 and up. So keep an eye out on that trainers. Now let's get right into those Landorus counters. Uh, Landorus, the abundance Pokemon, it is ground and flying type which is gonna make that pretty delicious for some ice types. Let's get uh, into the stats here. So Landorus, max CP of 3588, an attack stat of 261, a defense of 182, and a stamina of 205. And it's going to be weak to ice. It actually has like a four time weakness. Uh, in Pokemon Go, you can think of it as a two time weakness to ice. So your ice type Pokemon are gonna go to town and water will be good for this as well. And then we do see those resistances here. And if we go over to Poke Battler, the best resource for raids, uh, period. You gotta go check them out. Link in the description as well. So let's look at some of the best Landorus counters. Now Landorus's uh, CP range is going to be, if you want a perfect non-weather boosted, 2050. And if you want a weather boosted, uh, keep an eye out for 2563. Now if we scroll down here to all of those, uh, those weaknesses here, uh, what it's going to be weak to. So if you don't know, Shadow Pokemon have overtaken uh, a lot of the damage rankings in Pokemon Go because they do 20% more damage. Uh, so if you do have any Shadow Pokemon that you invested in, they're going to be pretty good raid Pokemon and some pretty strong PvP Pokemon. So you'll see Shadow Pokemon on top of, topping all the lists, but um, I don't know how affordable that is in the Stardust section. If you do have the Stardust, great. If not, don't worry, there's plenty of options. So Shadow Weavile, Shadow Articuno, uh, take the tops in the DPS department. Um, now if we go to regular Pokemon, we have Mamoswine, Weavile, Glaceon making an appearance, Mewtwo with Ice Beam. We have Jinx, a lot of people powered those up back in the day. Um, it used to be the best Ice type attacker before Mamoswine. And uh, we have Shadow Porygon Z uh, if you have Blizzard on it. 
and then Shadow Swampert with water, and Kyogre, the first non-Shadow water to show up. Then we have Articuno, Bear Tick showing up, Shadow Lapras, uh, Mew up there, and we do have some more options as it starts to dwindle down here. Um, no worries if you don't have the shadows. Uh, I actually get a little annoyed seeing them, but hey, people are gonna power up whatever they have. Pillowswine still a really good option there. Uh, Walren only has Blizzard, but hey, it gets the job done. If you're someone that powered up a Cloister for maybe Go Battle League, hey, there's your chance to actually use it. And uh, we do see some of the other options here for Alligator with Ice Beam. Uh, even Blastoise showing up here, that's the shadow one there. Um, Galalie. So yeah, you do have plenty of options you can definitely use. Um, a little crazy seeing how much the shadow Pokemon really dominate the game now. Alrighty, now let's take a closer look at those stats. So if we go over to the stats here, I'm over at Game Press, their uh, DPS TDO calculator or rankings. Now we do see Landris, the Therian form, uh, on the top of the ground types uh, in the future here. So that's going to be awesome when that finally comes out. But right now we have the Incarnate form. So we have Landris, Therian form, topping off the DPS. We have Excadrill with both Drill Run and Earthquake above it. That's a, a DPS monster there. Um, and then we have the current Incarnate Landorus form. That is going to be the next top one, I guess. So uh, right now it's the second best. It eventually will be the third best. And that's not until Groudon gets its signature move, uh, Precipice Blades. Once it has that, that should be uh, right on top there. Um, let's see, it does have Earth Power, so that'll be interesting as far as like PvP goes. Um, maybe there's an argument there. If you decide to power one up, I would do like maybe a good PvP raid one. And uh, you can use that for raids and PvP. Uh, but other than that, we do see even Shadow Flygon uh, pretty close as far as DPS goes. And uh, we do have the rest of the ground types here. So Garchomp, Rhyperior, Shadow Swampert, and Flygon. Now, if we change this to our TDO, uh, rearrange it there, let's see where we go. So Groudon, Groudon clearly the, the number one there. It's so bulky. Uh, Rhyperior moves all the way up, and then it has, uh, let's see, Mud Slap, Earthquake, cool. Garchomp, then we have Landris, the Therian form again. And then we have the Incarnate Form right underneath that. So Landris Incarnate Form is going to be uh, pretty good for now. Um, if you need a ground type and you haven't invested in one, it might be a decent one for you. Um, but yeah, it's, it's definitely pretty good. I, I, I think in the ground type, I will eventually just probably power up one um, to that 2500 range and probably try it out for PvP. Um, and I'm not double moving it, but uh, it might be worth a shot. So I'm definitely keeping one. So if we go over to pvpoke.com, the best resource you have for um, PvP content, definitely check them out. Link in the description. We do have a Landorus, the incarnate form, running Mud Shot, Rock Slide, and Earth Power. Now with this moveset, it's going to suggest that some of these key matchups here are going to be against the Alolan Muck, which we've seen rise in uh, the Ultra League for sure. Reggie Steel, um, people have been powering those up. Charizard and Melmetal and Typhlosion, one of my favorites. I actually did a whole video about how awesome Typhlosion is against the meta. So Landris has a chance to disrupt the meta, so don't sleep on it. Um, let's see, some of its top counters, so remember it's weak to ice. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's Ice Fang Kapowed on, but any Ice Pokemon are just going to devastate it. Uh, can't wait to test it out in battle. Uh, but for the fast moves, we have Mudshot and Rock Throw. Uh, Mudshot will demolish those Steel types and anything that's weak to ground. We do have Rock if you want that coverage for Flyers. Now you have Rock Slide, Earth Power, Focus Blast, and Outrage. So a pretty good mix of uh, moves here. Great coverage. Again, um, I don't think Outrage is that good on it because you don't get Stab. And Focus Blast might be a pretty awesome secondary move. But you have Earth Power, which is going to be doing a lot of the same coverage. Um, but you definitely do have a lot of movesets to play around with. Uh, you got two 2-bar moves there. So I definitely like that. 
and then PB Poke recently updated their uh, their site here by adding the typings and what they're weak to so you do see the primary secondary what it's weak to and uh, the resistance is there so I love that good job uh, Hakuna Matata for working on this site uh, let's go ahead and take a look at Master League so I don't know how it's gonna do in Master League let's go so it was rank 70 in Ultra and surprise rank 17 in Masters what um, yeah let's let's, uh, let's take a look at that can we uh, pull up those stats alrighty so okay here we go Dialga it's gonna be great against Dialga it's still running the recommended mud shot rock slide earth power so Dialga look out if someone's crazy enough to max out their 100% uh, Metagross we have seen some of that uh, Snorlax hello and Tyranitar I haven't seen too much of it but they are out there and Melmetal we definitely have seen that now some of the top counters Virizion, Torterra, Kyogre, yep water Suicune and Armored Mewtwo, interesting. And then we're gonna be running the same move set, so a Mudshot, Rock Slide, Earth Power. Um, not bad that it's up here hanging out at 17th. Wow, I was not expecting that at all. So Landorus uh, might be a surprisingly good Pokemon for PvP. So now I'm definitely powering up one at least to Ultra to try it out, and um, we'll go from there. Um, definitely check that out. I can't wait to see how Landorus holds up and I can't wait for these remote raids to take place. If you found this content helpful, please drop a like, subscribe, and until next time traders, gotta catch them all.